Gdysh. I don't have much time. I'm Dr. Bornstein. I've been Donald Trump's doctor for 35 years, and additionally, I have extensive experience researching extraterrestrial life in Area 51. I'm recording this video because there's something they don't want you to know. Trump's not from here. And I don't mean not from America, I mean not from this planet, okay? <laughs> <laughs> when I wrote that ridiculously glowing letter in just five minutes, I thought you'd see through it for the obvious farce that it was. Donald's lab tests were not astonishingly excellent. They were astonishing because his blood work revealed he isn't a carbon-based life form. I, I wrote that his strength and stamina are extraordinary. But that's because Earth's oxygen-rich atmosphere strengthens his alien endoskeleton. I did a chest exam, and to be honest, I was not expecting to find a heart. And you know what? I didn't. Instead of a heart, he has four sphincters, which coincidentally is the same number of times he's filed for bankruptcy. <laughs> I wrote, if elected, Mr. Trump, I can state unequivocally, will be the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency. Hello? How did nobody notice that I wrote individual and not human? There's no 70-year-old human who could be healthier than, say, JFK when he was elected at the age of 43. But you know who is healthier? An ageless, hive-minded alien species intent on harvesting a planet's resources and driving the native population to extinction. Trust me, I have seen this before. We need to do something. I don't know. We need a wall. A big wall. A big, beautiful space wall so that he and his kind can never get in. This thing will lay this planet and all of us to waste. There may still be time, but we have to hurry. He talks about nukes. He'll use them on our allies, on us. Uh, it's, it's the end of human civilization. Don't you understand? Uh, for God's sakes. Uh, uh, You're fired. Release me!